I find astounding reports written in the early 19th century. It was reported that they had found a giant skeleton over 27 feet tall. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. What qualifies as being a giant? Let's provide some context. In today's American population, the average height typically falls between 5 feet 4 inches and 5 feet 10 inches, according to the National Health Statistics Report 2022. Throughout the history of the National Basketball Association, only a limited number of players have surpassed the towering height of 7 feet. And it's even rarer to find individuals reaching heights as astonishing as 8 feet. Some of these exceptionally tall players have been diagnosed with a condition called gigantism or giantism, often caused by a tumor on the pituitary gland in the brain. These terms are typically used for individuals whose height not only places them within the top 1% of the population, but also several standard deviations above the average height for people of the same gender, age, and ethnic background. The tallest person ever recorded in history was Robert Pershing Wadlow. Known as the Alton Giant or the Giant of Illinois, he earned these monikers due to his birth and upbringing in Illinois. Wadlow stood at an incredible height of 8 feet 11 inches and weighed 490 pounds at the time of his passing. Considering these facts, let's now delve into some accounts of discovering unusually tall human remains on this continent. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Throughout my extensive research into the concealed history of giants in America, I stumbled upon the most comprehensive, diverse, and vibrant narrative, in the form of John Haywood's The Natural History of Tennessee, up to the first settlements therein by the white people, in the year 1768. Haywood combines a meticulous first-hand account of his astonishing discoveries with a superb overview of earlier historical findings in the region. Among his many amazing discoveries are accounts of giants found in a walled spring, caves with stones that rolled away, containing more giants, and four upright standing stones that formed a square box, inside of which was the body of another giant. Here are some astounding excerpts from his remarkable report. The Natural History of Tennessee, 1823, by John Haywood. The length and dimensions of the skeletons, found in East and West Tennessee, prove demonstratively that the ancient inhabitants of this country, either the primitive or secondary settlers, were of gigantic stature, compared with the present races of Lydians. On the farm of Mr. John Miller of White County, are a number of small graves, and also many large ones, the bones in which show that the bodies to which they belonged, when alive, must have been, 27 feet high and upwards. I've always had a deep fascination for tales of concealed caverns and colossal burials. And in this extraordinary story, we find ourselves in the vicinity of Sparta, Kentucky. It was in the year 1814 when massive skeletal remains were unearthed from a cave in this very locale, alongside a grave burial that yielded equally astounding discoveries. As our account progresses, we encounter even more colossal bones, this time along the Tennessee River near Kingston. Let's now delve further into the enthralling chronicles as chronicled by John Haywood. Around the year 1814, Mr. Lawrence stumbled upon a remarkable find in Scarborough's cave, nestled alongside the Calf Killer River, a tributary of the Caney Fork, about 12 to 15 miles from Sparta. Deep within a small chamber of the cave, he uncovered an abundance of colossal human bones. To truly grasp the immensity of these remains, he decided to conduct a unique experiment. He took a jawbone and placed it against his own face, discovering that while his chin nestled into the concave of the bone, the posterior ends of the jawbone didn't even touch his skin on either side. 
Intrigued, he then picked up a thigh bone and aligned the upper end with his own hip joint, only to find that the lower end extended a staggering four inches below his knee joint. Meanwhile, Mr. Andrew Bryan witnessed the opening of the burial site approximately four miles north of Sparta, along the Calf Killer Fork. Seizing the opportunity, he grasped a finger bone and raised his knee, carefully positioning the bone to match the length of his own knee. Astonishingly, the upper end of the bone extended beyond his own body's width, stretching out behind him. Mr. Lawrence stood tall at around 5 feet 10 inches, while Mr. Bryan was slightly shorter at 5 feet 9 inches. In close proximity to the site of Mr. Bryan's discoveries, Mr. Sharp Whitley found himself in a nearby cave. Within its depths lay an abundance of these colossal bones, scattered amidst an array of skulls and other human skeletal remains, all exhibiting monstrous proportions. Further along the Tennessee River, below Kingston, human bones were unearthed from a mound. These remains were observed by Mr. Brown and measured by Mr. Sims. Comparing the thigh bones from these skeletons to Mr. Sims' own height, it was revealed that they exceeded his stature by an inch and a half. If the entire skeletons possessed the same proportions, it would indicate a towering body reaching at least 27 feet in height. Numerous bones of similar size were found within these mounds. Now, imagine an individual standing at 27 or 28 feet tall, a staggering 21 to 22 feet taller than the average person. Envision a body broader in proportion, with arms and legs to match. Surely, such an extraordinary being would rightly be deemed a giant. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.